Portsmouth docks before dawn. This cyclist hasn't just crossed the channel, he's crossed continents. Well done. <laughs> How was it? <sighs> it was actually quite a tough trip. I was supposed to finish a month ago, but I'm a, yeah, a month late. But, um, you know, you're not going to go 18,000 miles around the world without having you know, some difficult... There's been some amazing times and there's been some really tough times. But James Ketchell's adventure is about more than two wheels. His ultimate triathlon began with a 3,000-mile row across the Atlantic. Next, he climbed the world's highest mountain, and then he cycled 18,000 miles across 20 countries, including Poland, India, Thailand, Australia, the United States, and France. You're pleased it's over and you've done it, but in some ways you, you, you kind of almost miss it. It's, it's strange. The lack of kit on his bike is truly astonishing. This really is all he had, and this is where he kept all his clothes. Uh, look, James, I've got to ask, underwear? Where's the underwear? There is no underwear. There's no underwear? You don't, no, no, I, don't. I just have, I have two pairs of cycling shorts. Right. And, and, I, and I rotate between the two and I, I try and wash them when I can. And it, you, you will appreciate the simple things, uh, you know, just like having a clean, clean clothes and having a washing machine and a tumble dryer. Yeah. Trust me, we take that for granted. But when you go away, um, you know, on any expedition, you, it's the simple things that you miss and appreciate when you come back. All the way round, James has been raising money for charity and speaking in schools with his own very inspirational message. I would just say go for it. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it's quite, it's quite funny because when you start pushing yourself more and more, you realise that actually it wasn't so difficult and then you can start doing more and more. So I would say go for it. Don't think about it. Do it. The adventure started at Greenwich and tomorrow that's where it'll end. The ultimate triathlete has earned the ultimate lazy weekend. Simon Viger, Channel 5 News, Portsmouth.